Hello Roguemates! Cerebro here from Roguelets.com and we're back with more Roguelite news, so stay tuned! Our first piece of news comes from the 3D Bullet Heaven Roguelite Soulstone Survivors. Developer and publisher Gamesmithing Limited has announced that they will be bringing the demo back online and this time around with a total of 6 characters to try. The demo will be available for a limited time only. They've also made huge updates to the game's prologue version, introducing some considerable systematic changes to the game to prepare it for the full version and all the content that is coming to it, as well as some improvements to the quality of life and a whole lot of balance improvements. Developer Beamdog has announced the things that are in store for the first-person action roguelite, Mythforce. The game's seventh content update is coming, and the theme revolves around the upcoming Halloween season. As such, the developers are introducing a new weapon, the Lightning Spellbook, which will be coming out on October 5. Players are also in for a spooky surprise as silhouettes of scary figures appear. More details will be coming out in the next few days. You only draw out your own defeat, Force Lord. Beware, this will suck for you. Uh, get him! Huh. A plethora of new updates has arrived in the award winning first person shooter roguelite, Deathloop. The updates are led by the introduction of crossplay matchmaking. Now, players from both PCs and consoles can now play with one another. Also introduced in the game is a new ability. The Fugue Slab, which can stun your foes, as well as a new weapon, the Halps Prototype, good for frying your enemies. Two new enemies in the Garbage Collector and Paint Bomber have also been added to the game, as well as an extended Break the Loop ending, for Masquerade Ability Upgrades, new Double Trinkets, 11 new Trinkets, 4 new Weapon Perks, and a new Explorable Area to Carl's Bay. Today's the day. A feature players have been asking for is finally here in the very popular platforming roguelite Spelunky 2. Developer and publisher Mossmouth has announced the release of version 1.26, which mainly focuses on a major feature in the game's online multiplayer. The game now supports crossplay across all platforms from Steam, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. The devs said that while they are happy with their achievement, they will continue to receive feedback to make further improvements to the game's online experience. This next update is short and sweet from the turn-based roguelike dungeon crawler, Black Book. Developer Morteshka has announced that for a limited time, they will be giving away the Endless Battles DLC for free from October 14 to October 17. So for Black Book players out there who haven't bought the Endless Battles DLC yet, make sure you don't miss this wonderful opportunity. A little over a month ago, we featured Oaken on our weekly news as they released the Spellcasters update. Now, they're back with another major update. Nicknamed Valley of Thorns, the game has added a new variation of the first chapter after its namesake, Valley of Thorns. Awaiting you at the end of the level is a new boss, the suspicious deity of the cult. Also added are 5 new events, 7 new encounters, and 3 new elites. All of them are overgrown with a spikeweed, which is the main global mechanic of the update. Rounding up the update are the usual redesigns, reworks, balance changes, and bug fixes. Developer and publisher Mushi Jukebox has announced the release of the first major update of the action roguelite Madville Plus. The biggest addition to this update is the ability for players to modify their games. Now, players can add or remove weapons, shorten or lengthen their runs, turn the difficulty up or down, and add or remove add-ons. 
The other big addition is a new profession, the survivalist. This new class starts with scrappy guns that can transform into really crazy ones with upgrades. The survivalist also has a bandage to heal itself when needed, and a survival instinct trait that provides an extra kick when in critical health. Of course, no update will be complete without the usual balance changes and bug fixes. Bigger and better things have arrived in the popular space shooter roguelite Nova Drift. Developer Chimeric's own Jeffrey Nielsen broke down what's in store for players in their Enemies 2.0 Part 2 update. The biggest one is the new Draft Challenge mode. Also added to the game are three new alternate bosses that can be encountered with Challenge mode Nemesis enabled, mine overhauls and a comprehensive drone rework, two new ultra rare wild mods, three new super mods, and a huge amount of balance changes and bug fixes. Lastly, Chimeric has also announced that the game now has full Steam Deck support, so players can now play Nova Drift on the go. Another huge update has been released for the first-person horror survival roguelite, The Backroom Survival. Two new levels have been added to the game. The first one is fire theme based on a volcano interior, and the other one is ice theme based on the snowy wilderness. Other than that, new entities, items, professions, and regional forms have been added as well, and rounding up the update are the balance changes and bug fixes. The last piece of news is a big one as the most requested feature in the rhythm-based first-person shooter roguelite BPM Bullets Per Minute is finally coming. After finishing the Nintendo Switch port, developer and publisher AW Interactive was finally able to bring custom music into the game, at least for the PC for now. Players are now able to add their own music to the game and will be able to shoot, dodge, and dash to the beat of their own soundtrack. The devs have created a tutorial video on how to add custom music to the game, and the link is in the description below. Be aware though that some issues may arise, such as game stutter and MP3 file sync issues. To remedy this, the devs recommend using WAV files instead, and songs should be between 60 to 120 bits per minute, with 70 to 90 being the most preferable BPM. And that concludes the list of notable news for this week. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Or if you want to talk about the games listed on this video or other roguelite games, you can also visit our Discord server. If you'd like to support our channel and website, check out our Patreon channel. Your support will be rewarded by having your name added to the Patreon list at the end of our videos and possibly on the roguelites.com Hall of Fame as well. All notable links are on the description below. You can also like, subscribe, and share this video as other means of support, as well as hitting that notification bell button so you wouldn't miss any of our future videos. We sincerely appreciate all kinds of support, and we will do our best to make it worth your while. This is Cerebro from Roguelites.com, and I'll see you on the next one.